Hey, how's it going there, Brewtubers? So, uh, I said that I was going to wait to do uh, uh, Effortless Bruits, uh, Dan's uh, Incognito White Stout last, uh, but I can't wait. Um, this, this thing is, this thing just looks too good to do. Uh, I, I'm, I'm uh, perplexed. So, uh, I would read the label on here, but there's no description on this one other than it says, first lesson about trusting your senses is don't. I'm assuming that's kind of a reference to it's a white stout. You wouldn't think of a, uh, of a stout being a light beer. You would think of it being a, a dark beer. So anyway, without further ado, let's. Bu I don't know how strong this thing is. Um, knowing Dan, it probably is on the stronger side. Uh, I don't know what the IBUs are. I don't know anything about it other than it's a... It's a uh, other than it's a it's a white stout. All right, so let's uh, let's let's get into it. All right, little hiss, little smoke, and let's get a pour. That's a little bit of stuff trying to sneak its way. Sneak its way in there, so I'll stop it there. So uh, it's uh, it's considerably cloudy. Uh, I mean, not 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 like completely cloudy. It's it's uh, I don't know how I'd call it. It's hazy. It's hazy. It's, it's, uh, it's hazy. You can see the color. It looks a lot like the Gosa, uh, but it doesn't smell like the Gosa. Um, nice, persistent, thickly packed bubble uh, off-white head. About a finger, and uh, lacing is wow. It clings. There's looks like some legs coming down. So I'm gonna assume there's a, this is at least a. I'm thinking it's probably at least an eight. Oh, yeah. So now I see why he says don't trust your senses. Well, I don't know. Maybe I still don't know. Uh, it looks like a. It looks like a, it, it, funny, it looks like a, a super dry hopped IPA. You know, you look at the, you look at the color, you look at the kind of, hey, it looks like a classic East Coast super hopped IPA, you know, got the nice, you know, frothy head on it. But then you go to smell it. <sighs> I get chocolate. I get, a, I, I get a lot of like milk chocolate. Uh, is that what I'm supposed to be getting, Dan? Yeah, it tastes like a. Tastes like a milkshake, man. Tastes like a tastes like a tastes like a chocolate milkshake, or tastes like a smells like a, a chocolate milk. This is amazing. The smell, man. I almost don't want to drink it because I don't want to be disappointed. Uh, this it smells so damn good. I hope it. If it tastes even half as good as it smells, this is going to be one kick-ass freaking beer. <clears throat> God, this smells good. Yeah, it's just, it's weird. I don't want to. <laughs> I'm almost scared. I'm almost scared to taste it. All right, so let's go ahead for a taste. Ah, wow, incognito. And look at the. Sorry, I'm I'm trying to prolong here because I'm just really savoring the smell of this beer. Look at the look at the label here. It's pretty cool. It reminds me of uh, remember old Mad Magazine. Or actually, it's probably still going on. Uh, spy versus Spy. Looks like the Spy versus Spy. God, did I mention how good this smells? All right. Yeah, doesn't taste quite as chocolatey as it smells, uh, but you get the chocolatey taste. Wow. Mm. Sorry, I'm kind of <clears throat> letting that sit there. Uh, kind of <clears throat> letting this kind of run around through my head is how I want to review this. Okay, let's get into this. Uh, first of all, the mouthfeel for a stout, it's a little uh, not as heavy as a, of a, of a mouthfeel as you probably expect from one of the darker beers. Um, It's certainly creamy. It's 
and that's different than a than a light beer. Well, man, I don't know. It's certainly creamy, um, and a little bit syrupy. Uh, it doesn't have the same feel as like a regular pale, like a like a pale ale or an IPA or or a lager. Certainly not a lager. Um, so yeah, it's kind of a uh, a little bit of a cloying sweetness, kind of uh, midway through. And then it's followed on the end by oh so slight bitterness uh, that plays second fiddle to that chocolatey flavoring. And, I, and I, I'm thinking um, when I was down at Homebrew Wednesday Homecoming, uh, Brad Watson was telling me about a chocolate peanut butter stout or a, a peanut butter stout that he did. And he used this, what's it called, PB&D or PB, something like that. There's a chocolate version and a peanut butter version. He was, you know, we, we spent quite a while talking about it. I'm assuming you did something like that. You put something like that maybe in the mash or 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 in the fermenter. Or, I mean, I don't, hell, I don't know. Um, I think you did something with PBD. Is that what it's called? PB, PBD, ABB, something like that. Whatever the peanut butter flavoring, chocolate peanut butter flavoring is. I'm thinking you did something like that. What I don't understand is how... Uh, how you kept the color from from happening? I mean, maybe the the peanut butter version or the or the chocolate just a regular chocolate version doesn't have color. I mean, I don't know. Obviously, you didn't put any you know super high Littner um, or super high SRM uh, malts in it because you didn't get the color, um, but it still has that chocolatey flavor and the bitterness too. bitterness on the end so yeah i'm gonna go out there and say this is some kind of artificial flavoring technique um could be wrong i don't know hell i don't know but it definitely has a chocolate slight peanut butter uh taste and uh the carbonation is like perfect for the beer style nice uh not light carbonation kind of not like a guinness carbonation but more like a um i don't know you're 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 regular stout uh, uh, carbonation. You can see here the head's still kind of sitting here after all this time. So uh, this thing warm up a little bit. But anyway, um, yeah man, great beer. Uh, I'm glad that I, uh, well, I, I didn't save it for last, but I'm glad I broke into it because this is a, this is going to be a good uh, beer I'm going to enjoy, uh, enjoy tonight. So uh, thank you again, Dan, for uh, another, another solid beer. Um, Wow, this is a, it's like, it blows your mind. So, uh, the, it, it is aptly named Great, Great um, Image there, because it's the Spy versus Spy, like the white spy, but he's got the black tents, and so it, you know, same thing with a beer. It looks like a pale, and you drink it, and it, you know, smells and tastes like a, like a darker stout. I'm trying to imagine if, you close your eyes and, and don't think about the color of the beer. You can almost get an image of, and it wouldn't be like a super jet black, but it would be kind of a, you know, darker with little cherry notes, you know. That's what you would imagine. Then you open your open your eyes and you're looking at this thing, uh, which is, wow, really cool. Anyway, all right, I babbled, I babbled on enough. I think you guys get the, get the point. I really freaking like this beer. Thanks, man. Uh, cheers.